Hello guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel Kaji Data Online. In this video, I'm going to continue explaining a little bit about the previous video that we discussed um, with correspond to the um, light sensor module. So this is the idea of the previous versions that I already um, explained a little bit about how we want to know whether this is a digital sensor or analog sensor. Anyway, we, we just noted that this is a digital sensor because when we make some sort of manipulations uh, on the item over here, then we know already what will happen in terms of uh, the output of the module. So to interface the Arduino Uno, uh, using the light sensor as one of the switching mechanism so you can just uh, follow the previous versions of our setup and then make some sort of changes by uh, inserting the if then statement okay just put if then over here and then uh, we can also put another if then statement so as you know based on my previous video we already explained that the analog read is correspond to the certain readings which is indicated more than 70 or less than 70 so it is actually depends on the sensitivity of the potentiometer that you set up uh, during your initial setup so in my case uh, i'm going to use the if then if something like this happen so this is uh, going to be happen next so the first step to do that is basically just uh, remove or reset everything into the normal condition and then proceed with the another Arduino Uno which is uh, talk about the read status of the digital pin so we can use this operator to make some sort of judgment okay so we can use the less than or more than so I'm going to insert this one inside this button and then we are going to make some sort of changes for our operator over here so I'm going to change later on the digital status of the pin at the pin number 4 where uh, the values um, are actually less than 75 so less than 75 means what? less than 75 means there are some uh, very bright conditions that allows uh, the photoresistor to not become um, resistive enough so that's why the resistant values or the values coming up from the ADCs are actually very low therefore we are going to do something right okay so to do that just insert uh, this read digital status uh, of the pin number four if less than 75 therefore we need to do some things okay so actually the um, digital pin in this case are going to record it as one and zero but if you want to maintain with your analog digital also can so that is what i'm going to do now i'm going to put the read analog pin at a0 is less than 75 then this is what are going to be happen so basically what will happen we are going to write something so despite of uh, taking of the reading we are going to say that um, okay uh, lights on okay lights on okay so we are also going to uh, say something on our terminal so this is the first one so you can actually duplicate the whole thing and then ready to make change for another palette okay just uh, insert everything together in our Arduino uh, Uno set up over here in the picto blocks and then just zoom out a little bit alright so we need to make some changes especially with regard to the operator here so we need to change into the another operator which is indicate that more then okay so this is the more than operator just put the read analog uh, functions of the a0 more than 75 so we know already if uh, something which is uh, more than 75 or nearly to 1000 we could say that um, this is actually a complete dark darkness okay so that's mean uh, we can just put it here lights off beside we are looking forward to spell it out as uh, lights on or lights off as you can see over here we might want to make some sort of changes in terms of the action towards a certain mechanism in my setup i make some revision on my setup using the relay over here that being attached to the ground and also one more being attached to the signal 
which is uh, indicated at the pin number 7 just any pin also will do so what will happen actually when there is a complete darkness this relay are going to be open and then um, basically turns off a light okay and then you can see here also our LED or LCD indicated something to do with the lights on and lights off and then there are some uh, disturbance in our LCD so to fix that basically we need to do some sort of uh, refresh so by doing that we can uh, use the clear display over here we can just put a clear display on the top of the set cursor on each of the um, if statement not if else okay it is a if statement over here so the reason we put the clear display to make sure that there are element of refreshing that's uh, going on on our um, on our LCD and in fact you can also make some changes with the addition of this uh, algorithm or this function by looking into the um, Arduino Uno and then you can ask for actuator and then we can uh, choose this uh, relay okay so let me just uh, drag to relay over here and then this relay is I mentioned to you before it's making an actions towards the lighting conditions of the sensor that already be indicated uh, at the analog read function over there so uh, this one is already being set at pin number seven and then this one will be set at also the same pin number seven uh, but the changes will be of course this one might be the light is off and then this one is the light is on that's mean our relay are going to be open and therefore um, the lights that control the relay are going to be turning on and when there is a darkness then uh, there will be some light available so let me just uh, upload the code and then we can see what happened to our setup uh, basically the lights o n f function like this disturbance like this are going to be diminished due to the fact that we um, using the clear functions every one second then whatever conditions that are newly being detected by this um, light sensor are going to be refreshed and then uh, whatever happened uh, towards the intensity of the light uh, occur inside our setup are going to be uh, controlled by this relay example this one is lights on so our relay are not indicated any light and then we can close it okay you can see the light is off and then the LED on the relay function over here are being light on okay I made a repetition okay so let me just uh, close the lamp little bit so that you can see the action much more clearer so let me just uh, make it uh, complete darkness okay uh, there is some uh, there is some uh, changes LCD should be noted of course this is uh, the lights should be on okay the light is not should be off so when you expose to the light then um, the light should be off so we make a, a, a silly mistake over there because um, our condition before this is so bright then we not sure what to put so now we we need to change this one a little bit so this one we put uh, the light is off and then the another one this is the condition actually uh, the condition need to be changed now of course uh, before this we focus on the sensor itself but now we focus on the condition all right so when we upload the code then we can see the changes uh, in terms of the action towards the giving a status so because um, this LCD is basically giving us a status what is going on on our sensor and then make the action based on the relay function over here so the relay can be used using the 3 pin and also the 2 pin only so in my uh, connection diagram over here I'm focusing on the 2 pin interface so when this is a uh, lights off and then uh, lights off mean that the light is going to be turning off because the relay are not function then when there is a complete darkness then the relay are going to be on and allow the uh, light that been attached to the 240 volt or any high voltages power are going to be um, on um, simultaneously uh, along with the sensor that is being detected by this LDR okay when there is light uh, coming out because there is a uh, sunshine and so on then the relay are going to be turning off and then the condition say lights off that's mean uh, the light in our room are going to be turning off automatically so that is the idea of how you want to interface everything using the picto blocks uh, please find the useful video this useful video in the descriptions and then you can find out all the details 
uh, with regard to the setup. Um, with that, thank you very much for um, for joining this video. And feel free to like, share, and the most important thing is subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our future interesting project that can be useful for you. With that, thank you very much. Thank you, and see you again. Assalamualaikum and bye bye.